Welcome to Incandescent. When you connect with your deepest passions and intense emotions and allow them to fuel you, you radiate positive energy from you to the world around you. It's my goal that by listening to this, that's exactly what you do. Whether you listen to this in quiet meditation or while going about your day, just allow it to make you feel more present and in fact, incandescent. I know I'm where I'm meant to be. Hey there. You might be able to hear in my voice that I have a bit of a cold. I hope it's not showing up too much. I have the, uh, <laughs> so basically like the thing podcasters say not to do is to not have a whole bunch of episodes in the can, right? All prepped because you never know when you might get sick or something might happen. And I record as I go. So that will change. But for now, I still record uh, pretty much each day based on what I'm feeling. So right now, because of what I'm going through, I have a tendency to really get hard on myself when I feel physically sick. Like I don't even want people to know it's happening. I'll make up other reasons sometimes that I can't do something because I don't want to just admit that I'm not feeling well physically. Uh, and then I feel guilty about making up a reason that I couldn't do something. So it's this stupid cycle that makes no sense. I mean, we all have physical bodies that become ill from time to time and it is not anything shameful. And I'm doing a lot of work around accepting and loving and appreciating my body because when I get sick, I realize, oh my goodness, I've just been taking for granted all the amazing things my physical body does for me on a day-to-day -day basis. So, no longer. <laughs> or at least that's the goal, right? Oh, I just realized I had the wrong microphone plugged in. <laughs> You're probably like, why does her voice sound all of a sudden really different? Better, hopefully. That's kind of the thing, too, when you're sick. The, it just kind of affects your overall judgment and your mental acuity. And I guess that adds to me being hard on myself about it. I don't know if you're like this at all, but if you are, this one's for you. <laughs> so if you ever take your body for granted, beat yourself up when you're sick, um, just don't handle feeling ill well. I really hope that this helps. Enjoy. Oh, and before we start, just a quick disclaimer. Please do not operate heavy machinery while listening to this podcast. Okay, let's dive in. Wherever you are, whatever it is that you're doing, take a moment to feel your physical body. Feel yourself inside of your body. Become aware of the energy outside of your body. Get curious about what energy outside of your body is yours. And what isn't. Notice how your energy melds with all that's around you. Notice how you can shrink or expand your focus so that you can feel yourself encompassing just the current physical space you're taking up or all the way out, feeling yourself connecting to the vastness of the universe. Expanding your attention this way allows you to better appreciate the smaller space that you take up in the physical body. You know, on the subatomic level, every tiny little particle is connected to every other tiny little particle. Very similar to a hologram. If you've ever seen a hologram, when you cut one piece of it off, that piece is the same as the whole. 
and so are we. We're all reflections of each other, we're all reflections of the whole. And when we think about this, we can really appreciate how our physical body is here to serve. How it's part of a bigger picture. So as you feel yourself in your body, while allowing your attention to expand either outwards or inwards, both really are expansion, you let yourself feel your body in this moment. Letting your breath be soft and gentle and letting the following words feel true to you. My physical body is a gift. I can connect with feeling healthy, but I can also honor and respect whatever it is my body is going through. I know that everything in this life serves a purpose. There is nothing in this world that is quote unquote bad unless I allow it to be. Sometimes things may feel or seem that way. But in this moment, I choose to look at even my physical illness as useful in some way. I'm willing to see it differently. I'm willing to trust my body and to trust the universe and appreciate what is happening. I'm willing to love my body no matter what it's going through. I'm willing to say to my body, you got this. I love you. I trust you. And I will do whatever I can to best serve you. I'm sorry for the times that I wasn't serving you. I'm sorry for the times I took you for granted. But today I'm changing that. Even if only for a few moments. I appreciate you. I honor and respect my body. I'm so grateful for all it does for me. I love it when it's strong. I love it when it's weak. It is a gift to me. And as I feel myself moving through the world, I recognize the importance of my physical body. I promise myself that I will commit to feeling love and appreciation for my body, no matter what. I love my body in weakness and in strength. And I am so grateful. Take this feeling with you everywhere you go throughout the rest of the day. you are feeling as though you are radiantly glowing from the inside out with your strong emotions and passions that you are in fact incandescent if you'd like to be the spark that ignites light in all of those around you please share spread the word subscribe and leave a review let's help others be just as radiant and incandescent as you are in this moment thank you for being here you're amazing so